The fragility of the body, the fragility of life. All my work is about uh, very few topics, like left and death is always there. Eros and Thanatos is always there. Protecting and suffering, desire. So all these different layers are visible in, in this work for me too. I present here the work Cripple Heart, Cripple Wood. And as you can see, it's made out of an old elm tree. So the biggest part of the work is the old elm. And then the other side, we have a lot of branches. They are connected with the tree. And for me, there are many layers into this work. So the starting point was that old, old elm tree. But for me, it's about a hurt body who is laying down and who is uh, protected. It's like the nurses came by and they did some wraps around the broken trees and I look to them as you look to a hurt body who needs help. And that's also the, the way that I take care of the work, like you take care of a, a helpless body. I was very much surprised when I found the old tree somewhere in a landscape in France. And for me, the shape of the, of the old home was already a body, a very strong body. And I was very sad when I saw it because somebody took out a living tree for one or another reason and they just laid them down in the field. And for me, the the solitude of this moment was so uh, hard and, and sad that I, I thought I should do something with that tree. I'm very uh, busy with the space between life and death. So it's like that particular, particular moment is where yeah, people give up. And for me as an artist, it's the place where I want to be, to, to create something and to give hope. And I think this will be visible in the way that we took care of the broken branches and the connections with the, with the tree. I was asking Putse to give me uh, a text because he knows my work uh, since the project that we did before and another one. And I thought he's the right person who can give me some inspiration to work around. In the text, it's the son who is going to visit his mother because she's going to die. She's very old and they want to talk about yeah, the moment when she is there, not anymore, or to, to talk about, about her dad. And that moment don't happen. This is what often happens, that people are not able to, to talk about really uh, existential things in their life because we don't have the language for that anymore. And I hope that my work can give some uh, answer on existential questions in, in one way.